Hello. We're gonna have a launch in a couple of minutes. I know, that's what we're here for. This is a good spot. Do you have uh, a countdown or something with you? Yes. You want to hear it? Sure. This airplane keeps orbiting around here. Uh. Must be the sheriff or somebody like that. No. Making sure there are no other airplanes around. Yeah. It has to be military. Well, the sheriff's in charge of the security outside the base. Yeah, but I, I work for the sheriff. We're, oh yeah. We don't, we don't watch. <laughs> okay. Well, I listen to their radio, and they're they're patrolling the. Uh, at least it's coming over the radio. Maybe somebody else, but it's the sheriff's dispatcher. They're patrolling the the water. So what what are you listening to there? Um, it's a SpaceX SpaceX um, launch. Yeah. Video. Yeah, they're. Um, their website? Uh-huh. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I have a help. I have a head thingy, Mommy. Yes. We're talking about the iridiums. Mm-hmm. It's about four minutes. It's really expensive stuff. And Having a hard time finding lights. There we go. T minus three minutes and thirty-eight seconds, and counting down since we last talked. I with figure you, it's the between these two trees here, but I may be wrong. There's two clumps of trees there. Next major activities we're going to get into about three minutes. Before launch, we'll begin securing liquid oxygen loading on the sec on the first stage. Two minutes to go before launch. The second stage will complete. The T minus one minute, the flight computers will go into startup and they'll take over the sequence, leading the liftoff on the Falcon 9. A couple of words of warning: we've been loading helium into the second stage. The final go no go call for that would come just about one minute before launch. So we'll be listening in case. Uh, we have not got enough helium on board. Another warning at about T minus 90 seconds, we begin venting the gaseous oxygen out of the ground side of that strongback. I wanted to go into the hills, but it's too much trouble. Strongback. That's normal, nothing to be worried about. At night. The iridium satellites are ready to go. The range is ready to support. We've been looking at cruise ship, but they're uh, not an issue this morning. And the weather looks good. There's a park in Vandenberg Village, We're yeah. up which is really good to watch mark. from. Yeah, so let's I have a friend that lives there, but he works at SpaceX, Iridium so he's not there. <laughs> he's, at, he's in some bunker somewhere. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> ROC, this is RC, countdown one, can you confirm the range is green? Rockin' work. Okay, no, it's on internal power. Stage 2 lock secure. The other night when it was my first night photograph, I was taking pictures and they were all blown out because the light is so bright. Range is green. So I have it, I'm doing video now with auto oh. exposure. So yeah, the camera so will compensate for the brightness, hopefully. Swishing noises. You think that's real? Or are they just adding that? <laughs> you know what I like about the ones at night? The yeah. sun doesn't get in your eyes. Well, this one's going to go up into the sunlight. I don't see any sun. It's going across the sky. See, so it's shining on the moon. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, I've already seen two satellites go by, so the, the sun is going right across the, uh, the sky. I see a jet over there. They usually clear the skies. Stay like still. Distort the pressures. No. 
to your left. See them over there? Yeah. They usually clear the skies. I guess uh, he's far enough away. I don't know. I see light. LG you see the light? Mm -hmm. See the light up there? Mm -hmm. Okay, 30, yeah. They turn lights on, I guess. It's changing brightness, too. Okay. There it goes. Stage one, so lift off pressures. 15. Oh, yeah. Okay, configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Yeah, I see five, it. 4, 3, Two. One. It looks like the sun. Not seeing anything. There we go. Wow. Did you see the little bit of bottom now? I'm not sure if it's a scared Did you see copies? Woke up. T plus one minute and 17 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 approaching Max Q. You've heard the call out, MVAC D chilling. We're now getting the second stage engine ready for ignition. Me, why is Several all activities going coming up here very shortly. At T plus two minutes and 24 seconds, we expect main engine cutoff, Mom, followed immediately by stage separation and ignition of the oh. upper stage engine. Right after that, the first stage will begin the first of three burns to return us back to the Pacific Ocean to the drone ship parked offshore about 300 kilometers down the range. Coming up on Miko. We have Miko. That's amazing. Whoa! We have that back T plus two Good minutes and 47 30. seconds into flight. We've had successful stage separation and ignition of the upper stage engine. And as you can see, we've also relit three of the engines on the first stage to begin the sequence that will return it to the drone ship in the Pacific Ocean. Boost back burn lasts about 30 seconds. And we have fairing separation. Had a brief view of the Iridium satellites as the fairing separated. Again, it's just before dawn as we head south over the Pacific Ocean, so we're not getting any sunlight. Okay, no sunlight. First no. stage boost back I burn can't see did it complete. At all. Fairing did successfully separate. We're waiting to hear the drone ship ALS, that's acquisition of signal. That indicates the drone ship is receiving telemetry from the first stage. Second stage propulsion continues to look nominal, coming up at T plus four minutes into flight.
2 plus, 5 minutes into the flight of Falcon 9 carrying 10 Iridium Next satellites. Next event in our timeline is in about 35 seconds. That will be a second ignition of the Falcon 9 first stage, what we call the entry burn. This is a burn of three Merlin 1D engines that will slow us down for the actual re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. The burn itself will last about 13 seconds. Meanwhile, second stage. Performance continues to look good. The trajectory is good. Engine parameters look good. Stage one entry startup. And you see the flare on the screen? We have startup. It looks like all three engines are up and running. Also, you can see silhouetted the grid fins did deploy earlier. They'll now be used to guide us as we enter the Earth's atmosphere. And we've had shutdown of the entry burn. Stage one, AFTS has picked. The autom automated flight termination system, autonomous flight termination system, has safe on the first stage. We're coming up on T plus seven minutes. Stage one is headed back to the drone ship in the Pacific Ocean. Stage two still headed to its initial parking orbit. Shutdown of the second stage engine should be just over T plus nine minutes to the flight. Away. Now we're getting ready for the landing burn of the first stage. Landing burn start. Stage one landing successful. Seven and a half minutes into flight, you can hear from the applause, we lost the signal briefly, then it returned with the view of the first stage in that pre-dawn darkness sitting on top of just read the instructions. Out in the Pacific Ocean, a successful landing of the first stage. Meanwhile, the primary mission continuing, the second stage, seven minutes and 54 seconds into flight, a little more than a minute left to go. Propulsion continues to look good on the second stage engine as we power to the low Earth parking orbit carrying the 10 Iridium Next satellites. Elciane, uh, zooming in on this fire here. Stage two, AFTS has saved. T plus eight minutes and 38 seconds into flight. We've heard the autonomous flight termination system has been saved on the second stage call. Second stage just about to go into Earth orbit.